Hey everybody, this is Alex Fantasy, and I am back once again bringing you another episode here of our Let's Play of Pokemon Red 151 version for the original Game Boy, where we can, we are playing a patch version where we can capture all 151 Pokemon in one game. In our last video, we were able to, uh, we were able to really abuse the missing number glitch the missing no glitch as we're able to get tons of items, TMs, and other stuff all unlimited or uh, over a hundred usage of them and stuff like that really helpful for us. Um, you know, we also were able to make it all the way here to the beginning of the Sea Foam Islands. Uh, before we continue on inside, we are going to take on uh, this trainer here because it is just off to here. And uh, honestly, there's nothing up above or whatever where this person is swimming. So we're just going to go ahead beat the now she's only got one pokemon it is a sea king so our executor should do the job so we are all set here for another video and stuff like that we're all ready to go hmm yum crackers all right all right okay so we're all set here. We've got our Pokemon. We're all ready. We've got all the items and everything that we need to make sure that this is going. This is going to be a long video though, because the Seafoam Islands are one of the most annoying places in the entire Pokemon Adventure. Because there is a lot of Pokemon that you can encounter in here, and a lot of Pokemon you can catch. So, including a Wild Shelter, level 30. We'll ignore him for now. Lots for us to explore and stuff like that. Uh, like I said, it's been a while since I've gone through here, so we'll really just be more or less just walking around, exploring everything. All right. See if we can encounter any some wild Pokemon that we haven't captured yet. Aha! A Slowpoke! All right. Oh, come on, not very effective. You're not supposed to kill it. Damn it. All right. So many more Pokemon in here. Now, with the Seafoam Island, there is only, there's a, obviously new Pokemon that we can capture in here. But it's not very important to the overall game, so you don't have to do it. You know, there's a lot, a lot of area to explore and stuff like that, so. All right, come on. Ah, here we go. So now this is why we need the strength, because there's a couple areas here where you need to go ahead and use strength to move some of these boulders and get them through, because this way you can encounter a very powerful Pokemon that we'd love to capture. Okay. Whoop. More shelters, man. Holy crap. Gotta move this thing all the way down. Alright, there's the first one. If you do fall down here, you're automatically going to go right through here. Now, I'm pretty sure if you hit over here... You'll find an Ultra Ball! A hidden item Ultra Ball! Very cool! Nope, nope, nope. No want to do strength. Want to do serve! There we go. Okay, go. We'll head up over here. Alright, get through here. And nope, we've already actually gone through here. Yeah, this is where we just were. Okay. 
It's a little bit of an annoyance to do this. Eventually I will figure it out, because like I said, it's been a while since I've actually done this. Danger, fast current. Ooh, gotta watch out for that. What you need to do is we need to get up over there. Come on, all I want to do is encounter the slowpoke, man. I don't I already have a I already have a cloister, man. I don't need the shelters. It's not anymore. A horsey! Wow! Don't think I've caught one of those, so let's go ahead here and use a uh, little bit of a slip powder on it. Fortunately, our moves are probably going to be way too powerful for it. So we'll go ahead here and use our cloister now. Alright, we'll go ahead here and use, uh... Ah, uh, we'll use Aurora Beam. Perfect! Ah, oh, I woke up, though. That's alright, we'll go ahead and use an Ultra Ball on it. Ultra Ball Goo! All right, horsey was cut. Its new Pokedex data will be added. It is the Dragon Pokemon, number 116 in the Pokedex, um, known to shoot down flying bugs with precision blasts of ink from the surface of the water. All right. Transfer to Bill's PC, very cool. Boulders might change the flow of the water. Wow, that's cool. That's cool. Whoa, a seal! We haven't encountered one of these guys yet either. Very cool. Let's go ahead and use sleep powder on it. Oh, of course it didn't affect him. Hard headbutt here. That's all right. We'll use sleep powder. Good night, seal. All right. We'll go ahead once again and use our cloister. Oh, come on. Like it wakes up. Oh, well. What was our attack? That's fine. Let's go with an Ultra Ball. So by now, you can pretty much capture any Pokemon you want with the fact that you, you can use the missing number cheat by now. We do capture, though, the Sea Lion Pokemon, number 86. The protruding horn on its head is very hard. It is used for bashing through thick ice. All right. We still need to capture that Slowpoke, though. Alright, let's head over here. Now, there's a couple boulders that we need to adjust, and they're just over here. Just need that Slowpoke to appear, then we can finally use some Mass Repels, I think, in here, because I don't think there's anything else uh, that we can capture. Um... Let's see here, uh, Staryu, there's one I haven't... Well, apparently Staryu is in here, so we might be able to encounter it in here somewhere. No hidden item, okay, that's fine. <sighs> A shelter, not cool. Alright, now... Strength. Alright, got a boom. Got a boom. Now what you need to do, don't push it again, you need to go up. Bam, bam, just like that. Okay, and this way you can push this one down. Go over here, push this one down. Go up. Come on, really? Thank you! Okay. Okay. This is what we want. Sleep powder. Very nice. Pass the sleep. Now I'm gonna hit here, uh... Yes! Charizard. We'll use Charizard and we'll use Fire Spin. This way it won't 
do a lot of damage, but it'll do just enough damage to lower its health where we can capture it. Okay, I woke up, but that's fine. Our fire spin will keep going. A little bit more. Boy effect! Ultra Ball, go! There we go! We've captured ourselves a Slowpoke! Alright! The Dopey Pokemon, number 79 in the Pokedex. Incredibly slow and dopey. It takes five seconds for it to feel pain when under attack. Wow, that is quite a slow one. All right. So there we go there. We can actually go ahead now and knock that down. And just by putting those two boulders in, it stops the current, which means we can head on up here and... <gasps> What's that? What's this? We get to catch a Pokemon? Oh boy! Oh, and I don't have any raw my rods! Oh, I can't go fishing! Boy, that was dumb of me. Alright, make sure you save your game and make sure it's all set because you definitely don't want to, you know, screw this up. So make sure you're all set. Write a slate, do anything or whatever that you can to make sure that you have saved it because this is probably... The hardest, I honestly think this is the hardest one that you can, you know, capture. It is, it is not easy to beat and capture and get it low enough. So, it is an ice Pokemon, but it's going to have ice moves. So, you're not going to want to have, well, you know, we'll keep our Executor out there. And I think we're going to have to take it on because this is, <gasps> what could it be? Oh, we've already seen this one, actually. It is Articuno! That is right, a level 50 Articuno, the second of the legendary birds. Let's start off with a sleep powder. Oh, Ice Beam, that's not good. Oh no, oh no, 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 critical hit, yeah, no sleep powder for us. That is very bad, very bad indeed. Legendary bird versus legendary bird, baby. Drill pack. Maybe you peck back at us. Ah, not very effective though, sucker. Okay, that is perfect because now we may have lost. Uh, we can now actually go ahead and use one of our items here. Our max revives. Use it on our executor. Our max revive will completely cure a Pokemon and revitalize it to full health. All right. Now that we've done that, we're gonna switch back over to executor and try to use. Um. What do you call it? Ah, uh, oh, crap. Super effective with that hit, too. Damn, I'm just glad it's not doing Ice Beam, man. Oh, my God, no! Sleep Powder. Whew. Okay. Go to sleep. Ultra Ball. Go! Wah! Crap. Well, let's see if we can catch here. We got a lot of Ultra Balls to go. Damn it. Don't do that! No! <laughs> Damn it! Ugh. Ugh. I can't believe it did that. Crap! Whoa, Nelly! Ah, uh, sleep powder, please. Hi, Moosh. How you doing? Don't be on my mouse. Oh, bull crap that it didn't know. Oh, come on. I don't want to have to use a master ball. I really don't. Of 
because I don't have anything else that won't kill it. I missed! I missed! Hey. <laughs> Hi. You being adorable? Stop doing peck, foo! Hey. Why are you rubbing against things, huh? Thank you! Alright! Okay, if I do Mega Drain, it shouldn't kill it. At least I hope not. Perfect! That's just... Get in the ball! No. One, please. Come on. No Pokedex data is added for the legendary bird Articuno. It is known as the Freeze Pokemon, number 144 in the Pokedex. It is the legendary bird that is said to appear to dune people who are lost in icy mountains. Thank God. So there we go. Two legendary birds down and one to go. Oh, goodness gracious. All right. Well, now that we've done that, there's honestly not really much else that we need to do in the Seafoam Islands, honestly. Um, you know, you can explore it as much as you like, but... What?! I forgot, because we play the 151 version, you encounter Ominite in here! Sorry, my audio again. Stupid controller. One throw, we get ourselves a level 5 Omanyte. Alright. It is the Spiral Pokemon, number 138. Although long extinct in rare cases, they can be gener uh, genetically resurrected from fossils. Okay, that's pretty cool. All right, now we need, we need to do here, we need to try to make our way through the rest of this. There should be another spot where I can push some more boulders down. No, I've already done it that way. Can't remember where it is. It's been a while since I've done it, so it's like, ugh. And if you do it, it's how you get to, um... It's how you get to uh, the other part of the uh, of the Seafoam Islands. All right. So what we'll do here is we will. Uh... Oh, pardon me. We will uh, cut back if I encounter any Pokemon that I need to capture, but I need to find the stupid other rock. So I will return in just a second. Okay, so we've gone back all the way here to the uh, entrance, and we can now go ahead here and uh, find that last boulder that I forgot all about. It's just over to the right of the entrance. We can actually go ahead here and push it all the way through. And what we have to do is we gotta, each time, we gotta keep clicking strength, get it all the way through. Alright, there we go. That should be the last push, because now... Yep! Now we can actually go ahead here and swim around... ...and enjoy the rest of this area... ...and 
entirely up to you on which direction and everything that you want to go. We can go back down that way, but we've already done that, so we'll go ahead and get back on our cloister here. Now we have complete control of where we go. So, let's see here. Yeah, so you can really go anywhere you want now. What we want to do is we want to head up over here. Down over this way. Oh, another wild encounter because my repels wore off. Still have an encounter to star you. I guess it really I do have to fish for it, so we'll have to come back here and uh, capture it with, uh, with when I get the rods and everything back. Go through there, there, and the final exit is here. And now we are on the other side of the Seafoam Island, which will take us directly back towards um, uh, Cinnabar Island. So we'll make sure that uh, our Pokemon and everything are all set. We'll put our Zapdos up front here and give it a little bit of curing and everything and we'll it's only two levels away with level 55 so that's what we will try to go for then our cloister snorlax and executor a couple more traders obviously you know to defeat on our way back to cinnabar island hi speedy Nice. Bam. Hi, sweetie. No, hi. No, he's my good girl. You're like, hey, what's the boy? Take that, fool. Alright. And we defeated the junior trainer. No mercy at all. Of course not. Seafoam used to be one island. What? No way. Alright, we'll head here and use our uh, Max Repel. Very nice. No more wild encounters for us. Check out my buff physique. Please. You're a skinny little dude, skinny little man. Okay. Wimpy. Should have been buffing up my Pokemon, not myself. I rode my bird Pokemon here. That's a lie. You cannot fly. You can only fly to Pokemon centers. You are a liar. All right, there we go. Critical hit. Nice, after level 54. Done like dinner. And a Pidgeotto. Wow, I haven't seen many of those in a while. Alright, a nice easy victory for us there. We defeated the bird keeper. Oh no! My birds can't fly me back. Yes, they can. Your Pokemon can still use HM moves, even though they are totally, totally fainted. All right, let's see here. A couple more trainers there. Two there. One dude there. All right, so still just a couple more guys to defeat. All right. And then that should do for this video, man, because it's just been... Alright, yeah, actually that's where we're going to be going next to, is Cinnabar Island again, and 
hopefully see if we can take on the seventh gym leader there. in a butt. Hmm? Why? Why are you being a butt? Gave your big pearls, huh? I'm guessing they're shelters. Or a shelter and a cloister, right? Nailed it! Super effective! Alright, come on! We can encounter the. Come on, almost done here. Get through these last few trainers in there. Right, Mushu? Yeah. And we defeated the beauty. No worries there. Don't touch my pearls. Will my pearls grow bigger inside Cloister? I don't know. I swam here from Cinnabar Island. Good for you. Well, looks like this junior chick wants to fight. And it's a Goldane. Hey you, what are you doing? Why are you being so cute and adorable? You just want all my attention, I know. And a Sea King, huh? Alright. Another Thunderbolt! And we got all the victories that we needed there. The final trainer on this route has been defeated. I think there's only the five. Yeah, I think so. Alright, so now that we've done that... We can end this video off because we've now made it back to Cinnabar Island. We've captured the legendary bird Articuno. And we're finally going to be able to explore a little bit more of, uh, of Cinnabar Island. Obviously we can't get into the gym. So there's that one building that we haven't gone into. And that is the old Pokemon Lab. Well, I guess the Pokemon Mansion is as, as they call it. So we'll definitely be heading into there. Now, in some of the old original concept there, you can actually see Blaine, or the gym, the gym leader Blaine, who would actually be on top of the gym. It was really weird. Uh, but anyway, you click over here, the Cinnabar Island, Fiery Town of Burning Desire. It actually doesn't actually say anything or whatever for this building here, but this is the Pokemon Mansion, which, will be, which we will be exploring in our next video. And we are only 41 Pokemon away from completing the Pokedex, two badges away from being able to qualify for the Pokemon League. So, that is going to do it for this video. I am Alex Fantasy, thanking you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and comment on this video. You can subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more. Follow me on Twitter by clicking any, uh, clicking the link in the description below. And if you have any other questions or concerns, make sure you leave me a comment or a message here on YouTube. Thanks again for watching, everybody. Later, trainers.